Hey, 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 thanks for stopping by my channel today. If you're here for the very first time, welcome. If you are returning, welcome back. Today, I have an easy recipe for you today, okay? Yes, you've seen in the thumbnail, made from scratch hamburger helper. Listen, you're not gonna no longer wanna buy that box stuff, okay? All right, so we're gonna make us a good old cheesy cheeseburger hamburger helper okay all right so if you're interested in seeing what i created then keep on watching all right let's talk about the ingredients we are going to be using some of these nicely chopped uh, garlic right here bell, green bell pepper here and red onions now by all means you can use some red bell pepper or yellow bell pepper, all three if you like. This is what I have on hand, so that's what I'm using. I got some sharp shredded cheese as well as some mild. I have some Velveeta cheese packs, the hamburger meat, milk, as well as the macaroni noodles. All right. So these are all the ingredients, and what we're going to do is go on over here to the to the stove. We're going to cut this um, nice big deep frying pan on, and I already have the pot of water boiling for my noodles, okay? And so what I'm going to do is salt the water and add a little bit of cooking oil to the um, water for the noodles, and that's some good old kosher uh, sea salt and I'm taking a little bit of vegetable oil just for the noodles so the noodles won't stick and this is the only time you're going to be able to season the actual noodles is while they're boiling in the water all right now I'm going to take the hamburger meat this is what's left in the package from making burgers the other night you know sometimes you gotta cook smart shop smart get the largest and you can make two meals out of one that's how I do for the party of three all right, so what I'm going to do here now is just kind of uh, flatten this out, separate this meat so that we can get it browned, okay? And then we will get begin to go ahead and get the seasonings on it. So keep on watching. All right, we're going to be using this Morton's Nature Seasoning. I absolutely love this seasoning. I do not like to cook without it because this has to go in everything I cook or everything I cook, okay? And so I'm giving it a generous amount because I like to taste my food now, okay? I'm using some of this Goya Adobe um, seasoning here, and this is with pepper. They have the one that is without pepper. I have my accent right here. We're going to go ahead and put a few dashes of this in here. And I cannot remember the name of this brand, but this is from the Dollar Tree. This No, this is from the Dollar General. And this is the um, salt-free seasoning that I'm using here. And it's... It's kind of like Mrs. Dash. If you like Mrs. Dash, this is a cheaper version of Miss, Mrs. Dash. And this was a dollar from the Dollar General. So I'm just going to break this meat up and allow the seasons to cook in that meat because we need the meat to be seasoned now. Okay? And we're going to let this brown and we'll move on to the next steps. So keep on watching. I don't know about y'all, but I just had to add those couple extra noodles. I do it every time. Most times I always cook entirely too much noodles. I just cannot help it. I'm the same way with rice. I'm the same way with grits. I just got to go add something else. I just cannot 
help it, okay? But I did want to make sure that I had enough noodles to um, go with the meat, okay? So the meat is browning nicely. The noodles are at a nice raging ball like I want them to. Now, this is how I actually did the box hamburger helper. I never really hardly ever added the noodles to the actual um, meat and everything and let the noodles boil with it. Why? Because I didn't grow up eating hamburger helper. I didn't start eating hamburger helper until I met my husband. That was his thing. You know, he was like, you'll never make hamburger helper. I was like, I don't know how to cook it. I never tried it. We didn't grow up on it, but as I got grown, you know, one of my mom's girlfriends, she used to love to make it for her kids and she um, would ball her noodles separate. One day I went by her house and she was balling her noodles separate and I was like, why you do it separately? I thought you're supposed to put it all together on the box. Well, lo and behold, that's how she did it and that's how I started doing mine. All right, so I took that meat out of the pot and in that same pan, the meat is all browned. I am adding um, about three tablespoons, maybe four tablespoons of butter here. I do believe it was maybe three or four, I'm not sure. And I am going to get it melted down in that same pan. I didn't wash the pan or anything. I wanted the little drippings that was left in there to stay in there. And now I'm just adding, excuse me, the vegetables so that they can cook down just a little bit and get a little tender. As you see, the pasta is sitting there cooling off, ready to go. It's already uh, drained. And we are going to let that uh, those vegetables hang out a little bit, okay? So keep on watching. All right, so now that the ground beef is back down in the pan, I'm going to take these two Velveeta, um, the cheese spread, uh, whatever you call this stuff, y'all. Uh, I'm just going to go ahead and get both of those packs down in there. This is going to help make it nice and creamy. Y'all know how Velveeta cheese does. And sometimes I don't like buying the whole big block, but I do like using this for the substitute of the big block. But by all means, use the big block. That's absolutely fine. And I'm going to take some of that sharp, um, shredded cheese as well as the mild because this is a cheesy cheeseburger helper okay and we are going to generously give it the cheese generously baby okay and now I'm going to add some milk I just eyeballed it I really don't know how much milk I used I just eyeballed it a bit you know I wanted it to be kind of covered but not like it swimming around in it but covered enough and I am just mixing all of this together adding the noodles they're cooked and they're not you know they're a little al dente because they're going to cook a little bit more in here and you don't want them to be all mushy okay and then I'm going to also uh, season this up a little bit more with some of these seasons okay so keep on watching Add as much cheese as you like, okay? Make sure that you do just that, all right? So what I'm going to do now is let this simmer a little bit. Everything can melt and come together and be nice and cheesy. And this is what it's looking like. It's looking like it's good, y'all. Mmm. Mmm. Oh, yeah. Look how cheesy that is. So if you like this recipe... Uh-huh, and this idea and all the ingredients. And if you like hamburger helper, baby, thumbs the video up. Leave me a comment and tell me what it is that you do like. And if this is your type of content, because I have a lot more cooking in store, then subscribe and hit the bell as well. Now it's time for the final reveal.
All right, look at all the seasonings on the noodles, the meat. You can see it. I don't like eating food. I can't see the seasoning, y'all. Mm -mm. That's telling me it's going to be bland. But anyway, you can see the onions. You can see the bell pepper. You can see the garlic. Man, oh man, this was delicious. So you go ahead and you try it out, baby. You won't go back to that box stuff never, ever again. All right? Thanks for watching, y'all. I'm going to catch y'all in the next video. Bye-bye.